Yo people, what you saying? It's your boy 4 k Walk back at it again with another video and do I sound different? Huh? Do I? I don't know if you can see it guys, but just out of the shot right here guys, we have invested in a new microphone. It is the Rode Podcaster boys and let me just show you my old microphone, it, it just died on me and I was using the Samsung C01U but um, yeah, I dropped it by mistake and it literally just died on me. So we had to go out and we had to invest in the Rode Podcaster and I just hope that you guys can hear me a lot more um, clearly, which I'm sure you can. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's the new addition to the family. Hashtag blessed. Let's get straight into this video. Today's video, guys, we're going to be doing a squad builder. But before we do, guys, what I'm going to do is show you my team. Oh, sorry, sorry. Should I say show you where I finish in Foot Champs and open up my rewards? So unfortunately, we finished in Gold Two, and a lot of people in my last video kind of noticed that I seemed very much down, and um, that was because, guys, we worked so hard in Foot Champions to establish a decent lead. Um, I think at one point I was like 22 and 10. Um, so I could have easily gotten gold one or even elite three, but I fluffed it up. People done the disconnect glitch on me and you could tell just in the videos I was commentating, I was pissed off as hell. But guys, we're back, I'm better, I'm happy. And do you know what? There's no weekend lead this, um, this weekend. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the packs and then we'll get into two games and I'll show you how beastly my team is. Not a walkout. Not too bothered, wasn't expecting much anyway. Or this pack to be honest Eva. it's not gonna be a walkout, we'll just skip it. Guys, what we're gonna do now is get into the squad builder, I'll be back in a moment. So guys, this is my team. These are my subs at the moment. As you can see, we've got Lozano, who's an absolute beast for me. 38 games played, seriously, most of those games are in the weekend league as well. He is absolutely amazing. Martial as well. I'm still trying to find my feet with him. I'm a bit unsure with Martial. Luke Shaw, Callum Wilson, Wayne Rooney again, who's an absolute beast. Asamoah, if we ever need a central midfielder with a lot of pace. And Ronaldo Sanchez, who's always our cover option. But in goal, guys, we start off with the beast. Boom. Hugo Lloris. Absolutely amazing keeper in this game. Tottenham player as well. Happy days, okay? In the left centre back position, David Luiz. Now, a lot of people, guys, go with either Smalling. I'm in for Winston Reid, I'm Eric Bailly, but I'll tell you what right now, David Luiz, sec he's in for man, this is normal card, is absolutely OP, and I think what it is, he's a very, very tall defender, so it's almost like having a Naldo in the team, but not only that, he's quick as well, 73 pace, pace does the job, now I've only played four games with him, but those four games that I've played so far, he's been absolutely amazing, next to David Luiz guys, we have your boy, Christopher Smalling, again, this might as well be a team of the year card. Honestly, there's no getting past Christopher Smalling. Absolute beast in this game. Absolute rock. And next to him, guys, in the right back position, we do have an untradeable card. Where is he? Here he is. Boom. It's your boy, Kyle Walker, guys. The best right back in the game. As you can see, I've got a hella, hella lot of games played with him. 272 to be exact. First owner because he is untradeable. And as you can see, absolutely amazing card. Amazing stats. In the left back position, guys, we have your boy Gal Clichy. Now, despite his lack of pace, he does the business. Sometimes, if I'm feeling a bit frivolous, I'll switch Clichy and Shaw. But most times, I do stick with Gal Clichy um, in the left back position. Now, guys, in the right back slot, you probably won't be expecting this. Sorry, in the left midfield um, centre mid, centre mid slot, should I say? You probably won't be expecting this, but we do have Yannick Bellassi. Now. As a central midfielder with 89 pace, all right, 84 dribbling and 79 physical, he is an absolute rock. And because he's six foot one, headers in the air, he's winning all of them. Boom, easy as you like. And next to Yannick Bolassi, guys, we have your boy. Who else but N'Golo Kante? I'm sure a lot of you guys rock with N'Golo Kante and you know exactly, you know, how good he is. And then next to N'Golo Kante, guys, we have Another untradeable card, and you're probably thinking, hmm, who could this be? Well, if you've watched the highest viewed video on my channel, you would know that we've packed second in form Pogba in the Team of the Week untradeable pack, and he's been an absolute rock. The reason why he only has um, 11 goals for me is because I don't play him in a camp position. He is literally my holding midfielder to win all the headers, to spring all the passes. 89 passing just does, just, does, does just that, and he's an absolute beast. 
In the right forward position, guys, again, you probably will not be expecting this, but we do have your boy, Lucas Digne. And again, because he's French, he literally links with my two midfielders, and that's just to build a bit of chemistry for this slot here, but we'll wait one moment for that slot. In the left forward position, guys, we'll go over another untradeable card. It's your boy, Eden Hazard, who is an absolute beast in this game. Since I've started using him in the left forward position, he has started banging in goal after goal after goal after goal. And um, yeah, 91 pace, 93 dribbling, 86 shot and 87 passing. Absolute rock. But, guys, the god of this team. I'm sure you already know who I'm going to go to. It's Louis Chewy Suarez, guys. And let me just show you my stats with this guy. We played 81 games and scored 99 goals. And this, most of these games, guys, are from Foot Champs and Division 1, okay? So he is an absolute beast, all right? It was a fresh cast we bought him, fresh off the market. Um, only had two owners. And again, yeah, guys, it was the most, or should I say the biggest investment that I've ever made in a player, but it was fully, fully worth it, guys. Single-handedly, Luis Suarez will win us games. Um, and what we actually do, guys, in game, depending on how I'm feeling, depending on what um, right back my opponent has, if they do have Kyle Walker, we'll put Lozano on for that extra pace. Anybody other than Kyle Walker, we'll put Martial on, um, and we sub off Lucas Digne, so the team ends up looking like so. All right. So other than that, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to get into a game, and I'm going to show you how good this team actually. Look, guys, we come into our first game, and I am playing in friendly um, seasons game. Only because I don't want to ruin my Division 1 record and also I want to make sure that I maintain my um, next win slot for automatic qualification just in case we do poorly and fuck champs. But he's got a very decent team. Martial, Jamie Vardy and Sadi Mane up front. He's also got Kante in the midfield. But I'm sure we can take him, guys. Let's get into the gameplay. Alright, Suarez is through, boys. Oh, come on! Go on, Suarez. Yes, enough the bar. Get in, boys. We are. We do manage to score, and it is 1-0. Luis Suarez inevitably gets the goal, which is the 100th hundred, hundredth goal of his career for my team. Um, again, we were pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing, and we managed to break through. Lovely finesse, in off the crossbar. Brilliant goal. 1-0 to the good. Guys, you can just tell what this guy's going to do. Oh, no, has he done that? Oh my goodness, how has he done? Don't dab, you prick. Guys, that was just poor defending. The lag, it completely destroyed me. Oh my lord, honestly. Hugo Lloris, you should be doing better than that, son. You should be doing better than that. Oh, come on, come on, yes. Suarez, what a goal! Luis Suarez. Guys, that's what I mean about Suarez's physical attributes as well. Honestly, in those sorts of positions, all you need to do is hit the L2 trigger. If you ever do pick up this card, that is. L2 trigger, shove the player off, easy as you like, and then literally just power it into the back of the net. Lovely weighted through ball from Hazard, sending Chiellini to the wrong way, and then Suarez again. With his finishing ability, he's never gonna miss a shot like that. 2-1, guys. Yes, get in. Get in. Yes, get in. Get in, come on. All right, come on. Come on, Hazard, where are you? Through, boom. Hazard, what a finish, guys. It's 3-1, surely this guy will rage quit now. Again, we have a really good team. We're easily breaking him down. As he begins to give Pogba space, all Hazard needed to do was make the run. Four star weak foot, never gonna miss it from there. 3-1. Boom. 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 Suarez, Carl, what a finish. What a finish, guys. Suarez with the hat trick. Beautiful, beautiful goal. Beautiful goal. Honestly, the skill moves there. When we get in the box, do the 360 turn, take his defenders out of the way, and we slot it home. 
Bottom left hand corner, Luis Suarez again. That is a full time whistle. Luis Suarez collects the match ball in what was a beautiful, beautiful game, guys, that we did dominate. Um, Luis Suarez, 9.6 rating. Blassi, as you can see, guys, is a beast. 9.2 rating. Uh, Pogba with an 8.5. Hazard with a 9.4. Again, guys, we do win that game. 4-1, let's get into the second game and let's see if we can beat anybody. So guys, we come up into our second game and I have moved back over to the Division 1s because in friendly seasons, everyone just kept backing out. And I just want to finish this video and get it uploaded for today. Um, we come up against this guy, 82 rated team. Most notable players are Eric Bailly and Christopher Smalling at back. But again, guys, let's see how much we can do or how many goals we can get in this game. This guy's good straight away. It's probably the difference between Division 1 and friendly seasons, to be honest. But we're through with Hazard. Go on, Hazard. Hazard! What a finish, boys! Eden Hazard on his right peg. He slots it over in the sixth minute, guys. And as you can see, we take the 1 0 lead. This guy is really, really good straight away, just the way he moves his players around. But we do manage to shrug off Eric Bailly there. Actually, we didn't even shrug him off. We just kind of got a glitch through there. Um, 1 0, guys, to the good. Lozano comes on. Let's really finish him off now. Oh, damn. He's through. Oh, damn. Oh, no way. What a good goal from my opponent. He was, I mean, that goal, I'm not surprised by it. I can't believe I've let that in, though. Oh, my days. Get in. Yes. Suarez. No. Get in. Shoot. Oh, come on. Yes. <laughs> what a goal. What a goal from Yannick Balassi! This is what I mean about the tall players in midfield. Pogba might not score many goals, but he's in the right place at the right time, guys. And we do manage to get the goal of Yannick Balassi. What a finish and what a shout from Paul Pogba. All right, come on. Guys, where was my defense? Oh! Everyone just disappeared, but it's fine. Come on. Oh man, this guy will be more happier with the draw than I was. But guys, we do go into that game and it does finish 2-2. Um, I'm really frustrated about that, but you know what? He was a good player. He did deserve the draw at minimum. Um, I don't think he deserved to lose. I don't think I deserved to lose, so it probably was fair. So guys, let's get into the final part of this game. So guys, I do end the days play with Suarez playing two games and going from 99 goals to 102, which I'm very happy about. Um, great goal to game ratio. Again, Hazard, as you would have seen, is an absolute beast. Um, second in full pop, as you would expect, is an absolute beast. With a team like this, guys, with a minimum value of about 8 million. No, hang on. Suarez goes for about 3, four, let's say 3 million. Hazard was about 8, so that's about 4.4. And then Pogba, Let, let's say for about, you know, five, six million coins, you can get this wall. You can't buy the second inform Hazard. But more or less around five, six million coins, you can get a team like this. So I'd say it's well worth it. Again, if there's anybody you take away from this, this team, David Luiz and Yannick Balassi. Honestly, these two players are absolutely overpowered to the T because of their height and because of their pace for their positions. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed and I do hope you enjoy the new sound quality as well. I love this microphone. It just looks so beautiful. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time with another video. Peace.